Hi everyone and welcome to Triple M Adventures with Bill. This video is about setting up flapperons on your TGY9X radio. Now I, I like this radio, I've had it for quite a long time. I've got two of them as you probably know if you've watched my videos. So I want to put out videos. I don't get many um, views of the videos but I want to put them out about the radio because I actually quite like it and it's a, a really good budget radio. Okie dokie, so we'll switch over to the radio and then we'll go on to companion so that I can show you the settings. Let's take a look at the flapper on settings on the TGY9X. Okay, we're going to hold the button down once and we're going to go over. And the first setting we need to look at is in our mixes. Now we're going to have to add two lines on each aileron. That's because I've set up two flap settings. So you can see it's 50 and 70. Okay, we're going to go into the first one. And you can see I've put the source max. I've gone down to the weight 50. And everything else should be normal. So it will be zero offset, no diff. And then on the radio, I've linked it to ID1, which is this switch here. So if we now come out... Okay, if I move down, you'll see when I flick the switch, you can see D, ID1 has become active and then ID2 has become active. So that gives us the 50 and the 70% flap. Now you have to be careful with flapperons. It's not like using a separate flap on having a flap and an aileron separate because if you overdo the flap, you won't have any aileron control uh, because they are too far deflected. So you have to be careful. Now on the clouds plane, I managed to get away with this setting at 70% and I can still control the uh, ailerons as I came into land. All right, so that's the first one. Now, as usual, as I've said before in my videos, the whether this is a plus or minus depends on the setup of your servos in your plane. But now we're gonna go down to the second one, second aileron servo, and there it is. Okay, and you can see now I've done exactly the same settings, but now it's a minus and again linked to this switch here. You can see no flap, 50% flap, 70%. Okay, but let's take a look at one of them and you can see it's max, the source, and it's minus 50, zero offset, and then zero diff. And then we go to the switch and it's in that case, it's the first ID1. And then the, the second one is ID2. And that's simply it. You don't need to do anything else. Um, if we just go and have a look, I just want to show you up here. This video is not about this, but you can see under the rudder, I've added in a line for aileron. Now this gives you rudder aileron mixing. Um, I've discussed this in some of my videos before, where sometimes a plane will not your round when you're trying to fly. You'll put ailerons and it will just bank and not turn. So you can add, mix in a bit of rudder and on that particular plane, the clouds, it works nicely. Right, let's come out, oops a daisy. And that should be it. Right, let's take a look at the settings in Companion. Now we need to have Companion 2.1.9. That's the only one we can use with the TGY9X now. Okay, let's switch over to the computer. I'm gonna open up my latest backup. Okay, we get the warning, we just ignore that. I'm gonna open the clouds and let's go. We just need to go straight to the mixes. Okay, and you can see the two lines that I've added to each of the ailerons. Let's open one up and have a look. So the source is max, the weight is 50%, offset zero, diff zero, and then we allocated it to the switch uh, ID one. Okay. Now ID zero is when the switch is fully uh, forward. Okay, then we go to the second line and we've added in max weight 70%, uh, offset zero and diff zero. And then the switch is ID two. Okay, we go to the second aileron and then this is the reverse of the first channel aileron. So it's minus 50, zero offset, zero curve or diff, and then connected to ID one. And the second one is going to be the same, 
higher percentage, it's uh, 70, minus 70%, 70 zero or set, zero curve, and then the ID2 switch. And that's how you get your flapperons on to your TG9YX. Now, the thing to remember is, to, as I said earlier, is you make sure you don't have too much flap on flapperons. Otherwise, your ailerons won't be inactive. They won't operate because they've got not haven't got enough movement. With with separate flaps, you can have them come down as far as you like, and your ailerons obviously will still work. But with flapperons, you have to be careful. Um, I experimented with my um, little aeroplane, um, the Cheetah. And I did it as max as I could, and I could hardly fly. I, could, couldn't, I tried to land it, and it was very difficult, so I quickly switched the flaps off so that I could get control again. So just be careful with that. Thanks for watching this video, and if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you really enjoyed it, please subscribe to my channel, and please share this video with your friends. And if you have any comments, please leave them in the comment section below, as I would love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.